Oh, oh man. Let's get straightened up here, man, because we got a fucking problem right now. Ten seconds later. What is this? What is this shit for GeForce Now? Are you fucking kidding me? This is supposed to be your greatest cloud gaming platform with those fucking prices? It's cost too goddamn much. Oh my goodness, man. Just get ready, man. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. You just entered Chad Man Gaming. Get the hell out of here! One switch, get the hell out of here! Goddamn explosion, man! That's it, man! This is Cherry Man Gaming. What is going on, everybody out here, in YouTube land? This is Chariot Man Gaming. And I'm coming back at you with a rant video, with an exciting video, and news update. And before I get started with this rant fucking video, because yes, the cursing is here and the shades is here. Don't forget to smash this goddamn like button, share, and subscribe to Chariot Man Gaming. And if you don't like this goddamn video, take the goddamn cell phones, your keyboards, your Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and send it all the way out there into the goddamn depths of the effing, effing burn sea. And hit my mini outlets, hit my mini outlets, and Chariot Man Gaming on your left side of this page on Twitter, Chariot Man 85 on tw Instagram, and Chariot Man 85 on TikTok. And let's get into this. Goddamn video, man. Listen, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, freaking gamers, something, man. Let me tell you something, man. What is this with the prices of GeForce Now? What is this with everybody talking about GeForce Now is the best cloud gaming platform? Because I don't know how the fuck is the best cloud gaming platform. This cloud gaming is meant to be affordable. It's meant to be accessible for all platforms, for cell phones, for tablets for everything. It's supposed to be easily accessible, it's supposed to be easy to play, no downloads, no freaking updates, nothing. Because with cloud gaming platforms, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be an easy way to game, also affordable. No doubt, nothing, nothing. But with GeForce Now, it seems that's all of the above. There's downloads, there's updates, you have to freaking buy the freaking Hold up, man. Bruh. Let's listen here, man. Because, listen, I don't understand this, man. This is the most powerful system. Everybody talk about that RX 380. It's cost too goddamn much for that. What the fuck is going on with that shit, man? You're going to pay 300 Listen, man. Let's get into it. I'm going to talk about this here. And I have an article here talking about GeForce Now. New subscription tier is the ultimate cloud gaming experience. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, what are you talking about? Russell Westbrook said it right. What the fuck are you talking? What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? How's that the best, best experience? Why? Because it has a 380, man. I'm gonna tell you, baby. Y'all better thumb these goddamn. The sirens are going up. The sirens are going up, and the thumbs are going down. Dumb this goddamn video down. You know why? Because I'm going all the way through with this freaking video because this is pretty stupid. You're gonna be paying. It's an ultimate cloud gaming experience. How is it the ultimate cloud game? You know what I'm saying? How is it? How is it the most ultimate cloud gaming experience? And you have, look at the games that it has. But well, where's Resident Evil? Where's, where's Resident Evil? Where is Resident Evil? Where's NBA? Not even one NBA 2K22 has, has been on the game. Not one. But you got, it's the most ultimate cloud gaming experience. I don't understand what the fuck y'all talking about. Nothing. I don't understand. Ultimate cloud gaming experience. Get the fuck out of here. Also, look at this. It's, excuse me. GeForce Now now appears to lack some in-game front rates below 60. <laughs> How's it going to lack below 60 game rates with a 3080 RTX graphics card? My game, it has a, a RTX 380 graphics card, but it's lacking 60 frames per second? God damn it, man. You're gonna get an explosion for that one. You're gonna get an explosion for that one because it's gonna it's gonna lack an RTA graphics card. What the heck? What the fuck is going on out here? This is really messed up. Now listen to what it has to say because this is gonna bug y'all. Y'all gonna understand what I'm talking about. And as outlined in the post, 
on their T4 is now subreddit because it was on subreddit they talked about premium users are no longer guaranteed 60 FPS a user was concerned about Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy which is a fantastic game never going over 50 FPS while it's being streamed despite their hardware so they con contacted their support so they wanted to contact the support and find out what the fuck is going on what the hell is going on they contacted GeForce they contacted Nvidia and said what is going on we paying 30 80 and we're not getting 60 frames per second what is going on here and we're paying this type of money to get the best ultimate experience but you're not getting the, the damn experience like you're supposed to be getting but y'all gonna sit there listen I questioned uh, uh, Stadia for 30 frames I'm not gonna say I didn't I did I questioned uh, Stadia but then at least stated you know that the graphics just above Xbox X one X it wasn't um the next gen version of the, of the graphics it's not as powerful yet but it's gonna get there so I'm questioning that now this is another bugged out question this this is going this is pretty bust out laughing right there listen to what it has to say some gamers on GeForce now are capped at certain FPS such as Cyberpunk 2077 at 45 FPS, what? As in others, for Guardians of the Galaxy is capped at 50 FPS, so it's not a bug, says an email from Nvidia Customer Care, so it's not an email. So they contacted the Customer Care, but they get an email saying that is correct, absolutely correct. You're gonna get 45 FPS, that's what you're gonna get. You're not gonna get 60, F you're not gonna get 60 fr fr frames per second, you're not gonna even get 120 frames per second, not even 60 frames. You're gonna get 45 frames per second, on um, Cyberpunk 2077 with a 380 graphics card. <laughs> but it's the ultimate gaming experience. But y'all not gonna say that to Stadia. Stadia is the ultimate gaming experience, you son of a bitch. Even I'm hard on it. Stadia is the ultimate gaming experience. Oh my goodness. Now check this out. Now, but this is what you're gonna get. If you get the RTX, you're gonna be playing the highest performance of 99.99 .99 smackers for six months. But you're gonna be getting it for six months, and what you're gonna get out of that is you're gonna get RTX 380 rig, RTX on, exclusive access to RTX 380 service, eight hour session. That means you're gonna have to play for, you only get eight hours of session proof, up to 440p at 120 FPS, PC and Mac. Yeah, you get 1440p at 120 frames per second, but not 4K at 100. 20 frames per second up to 4k HDR shield TV yes you have to have the shield TV to get the HDR but what 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 shouldn't it matter it has to be on shield TV in order to get 4k that means it's like another damn console here it's another fucking console you have to pay I gotta help calm down here uh, RTX shield TV in order to get 4k isn't it supposed to be cloud gaming any point you can play anywhere and get your 4k at least on stadium you get 4k everywhere you go and that's the only console the only cloud gaming platform that's giving you 4k without a goddamn console somebody told me in the comment I was watching our um, cloud gaming extremes channel and I was commenting on something he told me oh you can get it on the, um, the freaking you can get it in, 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 you get the cheap tag and you don't have to get it okay so let's let's play this game let's play devil's advocate right now okay you get the cheap priority best value 49.99 of smackers but you're gonna only get it for six months right you get it for six months six months okay that means the premium rig is rtx on priority access to gaming servers six hours of session six hours that's two hours less of session up to 1080p and 60 fps so you're gonna be paying 49 dollars of 99 smackers for every six months Okay, that's eight eight dollars and eighty and thirty three cents, right? But you're getting ten eighty p. Not on Stadia though. You get ten eighty p and you get games every freaking month added onto it. You get lots of games right now in the Stadia store. It's over thirty eight games for cloud. You get right out the box. If you get the Stadia Pro, you get thirty eight games. Thirty eight games, man. Are you freaking kidding me? And don't even start with me with the free tier because that's I tried out this free tier. It sucks. Don't do it. Don't. Do it, okay? You gave $49, okay, that's about $50, that's $100 a year, all right? But you only get 60 years. And you have to buy the freaking games. You have to buy the game also. For instance, you want to get Resident Evil Village, you're paying $50, $60, you still won't get it on, on um, GeForce now because it ain't compatible. If you want to get the latest NBA 2K22, you can't get it because it ain't compatible. Yeah, Stadia don't have those games yet, but it ain't compatible. Resident Evil Village, you can only play it on Stadia. Maybe Village is the only cloud gaming platform that has it. You can get it on Village. Maybe probably on Xbox Series, uh, Cloud, but you can't get it on the freaking, the most powerful freaking platform, cloud gaming platform. You can't get it. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Get the 
the hell out of here. And on the, the freaking the freaking RTX, I'm going off 380. You have to pay $99. That's every six months. That means another six months you have to pay another freaking hundred dollars. That's 200 freaking dollars every freaking year. Including, and I'm not even counting the games that you gotta buy. So you'll get a game like Art of Guardians of the Galaxy, pay $69 or whatever it costs. Then you gotta do that, and you also gotta pay that $100 also. And you don't get all 20 all, all uh, exclusive games. This is bad, man. This is really bad. I don't know what you people talking about. I don't know what you people talking about, but you don't know a goddamn thing, man. Stadia is the best cloud gaming platform. That is, you're gonna get the true cloud gaming experience. You go to Stadia, man, gamers. And that's all I gotta say about this video. It's cost too goddamn much. It's too much goddamn money. And it's a freaking ripple. To me, it's a goddamn ripple for me. It's a goddamn ripple. And it's a freaking uh, a shame to gamers. It's an insult to freaking gamers, man. And that's all I got to say. Let me know what you think about this, my gamers out here. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know in the comments. Let it all out in the comments. Let it all out. I don't give a damn. Let it all out. And all I got to say is, sound off in the comment section and tell me what you think about this freaking G4S Now news. Cause it's freaking crazy. And don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe to Chariot Man Gaming. And to smash that like button, smash it, smash it, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe and hit the notifications if you want more videos just like this as you see today. And I'd like to thank all my subscribers, thank all my subscribers, all my supporters for supporting my channel. And I pray for more. The goal is to get to 1K, and giveaways will be coming, and I'm, I'm going to continue to keep going until that goal is met. And I'm going to say peace, and I got more things coming on, so, oh, and beyond. And I'm going to say peace, 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 and I got more videos coming on the way. Stay tuned. Peace.